two sets of crutches at the same time going, trying to help me wobble along. Uh, my sister, my dad, I don't know who's sturdier. Mallory's pretty strong too. I don't know, but dad did well too. Like walls, brick walls sometimes, that didn't end well. Anything you can hang on to, you just grasp for it. But as I started practicing, I realized that if I'm ever going to try to get any better at this thing, I've got to let go at some point. And I kind of think that's like with life too. When you want to move forward, sometimes you have to hold on to things that maybe you don't necessarily need anymore. So here's my best attempt at the unicycle.
small, minor, little tweaks in our lives, it can have a huge effect on everything else that we have going on. For example, I took the word lucky out of my vocabulary, and I replaced it with the word blessed. And I cannot tell you how that small little thing has made such a big difference on my life. I'm not lucky that I have people around me. I'm blessed that I have such wonderful people around me. If we just make small little changes, it can make a huge difference. There's blessings everywhere we go. We're blessed with people and things, not material things, but just special things in our lives. And we're humans, and sometimes we dwell. But we need to remember to dwell on the good things and not the bad things. And we need to do the YMCA. <laughs> Oh, that person's having trouble. 
walking into the grocery store. Well, they're 20 feet away. That's, that's not my problem. Thinking that way, that is the real problem. I believe that indifference is one of the biggest issues in our world today. Mother Teresa said, the biggest disease today is not leprosy or cancer or tuberculosis, but rather the feeling of being unwanted, uncared for, deserted by everybody. The greatest evil is the lack of love and charity, the terrible indifference towards one's neighbor who lives at the roadside, the victim of exploitation, corruption, poverty, and disease. Just because someone else doesn't think that something is important enough to act on, doesn't mean that we should have that same feeling. Because if not us, then who's going to step up? Obviously they're not going to. We're so distracted. I'm so distracted. My phone's always in my hand. It's awful. Sometimes my phone and my iPad and my laptop are all sitting on my lap. That's not, that's not good. Because that means that I'm not having someone's back like I should when I'm that distracted. The day that I realized, though, that I was a little different, and I was maybe a little unique, that's the day that I started to make changes in my life. My family and I were traveling to Jamaica. I am a huge, huge Bob Marley fan. I must disclaimer, I do not support his extracurricular activities. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it stood for a lot more than that, okay? So, my family and I were traveling in Jamaica in 2010, I think? And we were on, his, on our way to his house in Nine Miles, Jamaica. It was, a, it was necessary. That was kind of why we went on the trip. I guess that was a little selfish of me. So, we're on our way to his house, and we had to travel pretty far. And you can imagine there that the roads are not exactly like they are here. We are traveling in gravel, dirt, anything you can imagine. Sometimes I think we went over like little streams. It was pretty crazy. So we're walking and all of a sudden our taxi driver just slams on the brakes. I mean, we like literally went like flying forward. And then we're like, what? what was that? We all kind of stopped and we're looking around. And a single bike tire rolled right in front of us. And we're like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, these five little kids just come sprinting down the hill after this bike tiger. They had on shorts at best. I mean, these kids had no shoes, barely any clothes, and they were just having the time of their life chasing this little bike tiger down the road. I don't want to say it ruined my trip because it actually made a huge difference in my life, but it stuck with me. It stuck in my head the rest of that trip. I couldn't stop thinking about that moment. When we got home, I sent about 20 letters maybe out to family and friends that we were doing a suit shoe drive, we met a friend down there, and that we were going to send all the shoes that we collected down there to help them out. Me and Mal were talking on the way home in the airplane and we thought, we can collect 40 pairs of shoes. We both played three sports. We have shoes that we can give away, so 40 pair, let's do it. Send them down to Alex down there, it'll be great. But then we kind of started spreading the word a little bit more. We let St. Joe's here in the you know, and the air schools a little bit, just a little here and there. We collected 1,011 pairs of shoes. It was so easy. What, what, what I did and what we did was not much at all, really. I mean, made some flyers, made some boxes. It was everyone else. It was all the other people. We go on Twitter and we read the news and, oh, there's so much horrible people. It's so horrible. And it is sometimes. There's some bad people. But there's a whole lot more good people than there are bad people. Sometimes we just hear about the bad people more often. So don't lose faith in other people. I mean, we this year was our fourth clothing drive. And it's it's gone beyond our house. I actually took over my dad's man cave. So that's how many clothes, how much clothes we had. Actually, and this year he enclosed the pavilion out at the dealership. I think he was trying to tell me something. So we are ready for a big clothing drive this year. We got our own space now. It's because of everyone else that that was possible. So my challenge for us is not to be indifferent, unconcerned, uncaring, unenthusiastic. Let's take the prefix out of all those words. Let's be caring, different, enthusiastic, concerned. Take out all the negative parts of a word and just look for the root of that good word. We can be hot or we can be cold, but we should never be in the middle. Lukewarm is like the worst thing we could ever be. The smallest thing can really make the biggest difference, and one act of kindness can really change someone's life. Because if everyone here didn't participate, how would we do the wait? 
right now that we change about ourselves but that's what makes us so awesome 
I think maybe when we look in the mirror, we see these insecurities, and even the people that seem overly confident and cocky, they have these insecurities too, guys. You're not alone. But I think we have our blinders on sometimes. We see what's not perfect instead of what's so unique and wonderful and amazing about us. God created each and every one of us, each and every one of us to be exactly how we are and to not change ourselves. Maybe if you change for the better, sure, that's great, but that's different. We just have to see the whole package. We have to just take off those blinders, maybe even get away from the mirror, just throw it away. You know, it does come back to hurt you sometimes because I can tell you there are some days when I'm wearing black pants and I accidentally put a blue shirt on and I think it has black in it. Yeah, but you know what? I, the, mirrors, the mirrors sometimes can be our enemy, so don't, don't spend too much time in front of it. We're the whole package. We're not just what we're wearing that day or what lipstick we have on. It's the whole package. We just have to be maybe a little more gentle to ourselves. So when it comes down to it, you can like a face or a body, but you don't fall in love with it. You fall in love with the mind. So be true. Be you. I mean, do I want to be like Mike? on the basketball court. I'm good just being myself off the court. Hey, now is it time? Who wants a bag? Who wants a bag? that is. But what if maybe that situation doesn't arise for us in like a normal setting? What if something like that maybe doesn't, hopefully, you know, doesn't come up for us? What's the greatest gift you can give? I was thinking about that, and there's something that's always on Facebook and stuff, and I, write, I like it a lot. But it says, the greatest gift you can give is your time. And I think that's so awesome. I think that's a great thing, and it's something that we all have. We all have time that we can give. That's, that's great. That's really universal, but we're all different like we talked about. We're all unique in ourselves. So what is the greatest gift that you can give? For me, I think that maybe the greatest gift I can give is laughter. Does it always work? No, it doesn't. But it's something that I know I can give to people. So speaking of gifts, though, before my last segment, everybody get out your raffle tickets. We have a little gift to give. you think we should maybe take a selfie? Yeah. We're gonna take a selfie. We're gonna we got a selfie stick here. There's a lot of people here. Just one sec, let me get this one. I set the timer. Get out those tickets. Ten seconds. Alright, ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Are we on? Five, four, we're all in. Two, one. Wow! Awesome, awesome. That was great. That was great. That'll be on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's shuffle those up, shuffle those up. Oh, wrong bag. <laughs> special, special is the word that we all three use for each other, we're special. We're not getting paid. <laughs> they are not getting paid, that's a great point. All right, here's the lucky winner. Nine, six, four, three, one, four. Nine, six, four, three, one, four. Share that love. <laughs> what up? 
gotta do that this one together. <laughs> first time last fall and we were kind of down about it I'm not gonna lie she is the baby after all look at her I know I know so every Tuesday our family would watch America's Got Talent so August came around we're all kind of bummed she's leaving and I said you know what now we're all kind of sad I think that every Tuesday I'm gonna send you a video I'm gonna send you a video of the talent that I have so she's like okay you know we're like oh, so the first one, actually, um, I'll talk about the first one. It wasn't very good. But then I kept sending them to her, kept sending them to her, as painful as they were sometimes to watch. And all of a sudden they got, they got to be a little funny. They got a little better. I put a little more time into it. She said, look, you should like, post these on Facebook. Like These are actually kind of funny. So you should let other people see them, you know? So fast forward a year. This is one year this month that I've been posting a talent every single Tuesday. Some are good, some are not so good. Um, it seemed like such a little thing that would take me 10 seconds, but it's evolved into a huge project that I now actually invest a good percentage of my week on every week to make these talent Tuesdays. I have a little bit of a following, I'm getting there. Um, it's harder than you think. You know, it's, it's not always easy, and I get frustrated sometimes coming up with an idea or my camera battery died and I can't, my costume stained or something, it's always something. And I just say to myself when that happens, if it makes, if I post this and it makes one person laugh, one person, then that was worth it for me. If it makes one person's day just a little better, or maybe gives them something to look forward to, then it was worth it. So, now presenting the one year highlight video of Olivia's Got Talent to Say. Scott Talent Tuesday Christmas edition, I am going to eat an entire plate of M&M's and syrup with spaghetti in less than two minutes. Do you know what to do with that big fat turkey? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh yeah, fourth grade throwback, baby. Burgers, fries, and shake. I don't care about my weight. I want a later tweet about how much I. horseshoe shot. You just never know what you're gonna see or when it's gonna come. Ah! Oh my gosh! What was that What was that happening? Hunt is on. <laughs> <laughs> the giant 
for a friendly deal. Wonder if I. to hear what ordinary people, just like us, what they believe in, it's, it's wonderful. After I read it, I was so motivated. I wanted to write my This I Believe. And so I'm all pumped up. I just read this book. I'm sitting down with my pen and paper, and I'm like, okay. So, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's really hard to, to think of something like that. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to put it away. I'm not going to force it. I'm going to wait till something comes to me. Something will just pop in my head one day. And it did. So to finish up my little show here, um, I'm going to read part of my This I Believe. So, I believe in Tuesdays. I used to count down days all the time. Four days until the weekend, one month until vacation, 50 days until Christmas. And then after I recently changed my perspective on this, I realized just how unhealthy this habit was. The day will come and go no matter how long we're anticipating it. It doesn't matter. So what is it that I'm counting down for? That's actually kind of depressing. I'd rather count up. Tomorrow is day 10,872. What am I going to do with it? What amazing thing am I going to make happen in this day? So let's face it. Tuesday? Tuesday is just another day. It's pretty much right in the middle of the week. And there's not really anything special about it. But couldn't there be something special about it? Mondays. We hate Mondays. You see, um, it's Garfield or Mondays. But like, why? Why? Because Monday is a start to a brand new week of life that we're blessed to have. It's just a wonderful idea on Monday morning that we can say, hey, I got a new week. Like, let's go at it. So my time is going to come. Now, I'm not going to be here anymore. And hopefully it's a few decades away. We don't have control of that. But when that happens, I'm going to look back. And I'm not going to see the big events. 
I'm going to see the little moments, boring moments, maybe somebody else would call them. I'm going to see Tuesdays, who I was and what I was doing with my time when something remarkable wasn't happening. Yeah. So my personal goal, my challenge for all of us here today, is to make every single one of your days worth looking forward to. Don't sit around playing on your phone like some of us end up doing, waiting for someone or something else to make our lives more exciting or fulfilling, because only we can make that change for ourselves. One of the greatest ways to get the most out of our day, the most out of our lives, is by doing for others. Doing what? Absolutely anything. There's literally a million different ways, and I'm so confident that you'll live such a more satisfying life by doing for others and not just yourself. Maybe it's selfish of me, but in helping others, I actually do help myself even more. So I believe in Tuesdays. I believe that Tuesdays can be as good as Fridays if you open up your heart and your mind. I used to get so bummed out. I'd be like, oh, there's nothing to look forward to. Well, shame on me. There's always something to look forward to. Every single day we can look forward to. I started making Tuesdays special, and I started looking forward to Tuesdays by making my sister laugh by doing kind of an idiotic video in the beginning. Now 50 total, 50 Talent Tuesdays total. I've spent countless hours on them, and I have no clue when I'm gonna run out of ideas. People ask me that a lot, and I don't blame them. I think it's something everyone that's in the creative field fears. When am I gonna run out of ideas? I don't know, but for now, I'm gonna continue to use my gifts to make other people laugh. My motto has been, if it makes one person laugh, it's worth it. And if today, maybe one person looks at something just a little bit differently, then this was worth it for me. So, happy Tuesday, my favorite day. Happy 12,623rd day of life. What will you do with it? Awesome. Thank you all so, so, so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who helped make this event possible for me to do. Um, thank you for believing in me enough to come here and give me your Tuesday afternoon. Um, I'm very grateful for each one of you, and I hope you had fun and it was a good night out. Um, please feel free to stick around. I think we have some pizza. Um, I know we have cookies. Um, hang out with us. We have the hot for a while. So, everybody, keep laughing. All right? Keep laughing.